I think uh, since he came in in the winter and stuff, he's really tried to learn the playbook and really like basically catch up to Braden because you know Braden's been here for a year. He knows the offense and stuff like that. But I think he's really like honed in on like learning the offense, learning the different checks, and really like listening to Longo and understanding what he wants to see in the offense. And I feel like. Both of our QBs have a real good understanding of the offense, and that just helps the whole receiving crew at all. With this receiving group, uh, what gives you optimism that hey, this this group's going to be you know improved uh, over last year? And you know, what are you seeing in that regard? I think our biggest advantage is that, like I said, we've been here for a year, and or at least most of the receivers are coming back, and I think that helps like with. Any like new players that come in, like Tyrell and Joe, like we can teach them the offense, and that just really builds like our our brotherhood and like learning the offense, and it just helps all of us play faster on the field. And I think that was our issue last year; we weren't playing like confident on the field. And I think this year we'll really like have that confidence that we know the offense and we can play fr um, fast and just free for them. And you were one of the first guys in this group to show playing inside and outside in the same season. It seems like that's more of an emphasis this year is getting more guys ready to do that. Where are some of the challenges of doing that? I mean, some of the biggest differences between those two goals? Uh, the difference between slot and outside is really like the leverage of the defense, like learning that the gaps are different, like when the ball's coming, it's way different. Like it'd be faster in the slot compared to the outside. Like outside, you know you got like a certain depth and the ball comes at a certain time. But like a slot, it can come in like three different times. It can come in the first or second or third. And I think that's the biggest thing that is the difference. And you see, like, now Tyrell's doing inside some and uh, CJ is too. And I think that with more reps, we're all getting more comfortable doing, like, both just understanding what the plays are and, like, the different places we can get the ball at certain times. Do you have a preference in, since you guys are probably the most experienced in the right now? Or what do you uh, feel like? No, I don't, have a, I don't have a preference, honestly. Like, anywhere I can be on the field to help, that's what I'm going Tomorrow's first full day I've had. I'm excited. I'm excited to see how the uh, whole team looks. We got, yeah, like you said, full pass tomorrow, and just see how we play fast and play like a more scrimmage-like uh, practice compared to like just tagging off. Like getting to see how the defense comes and see how the offense responds too, like to adversity. So that's what I'm excited to see. Everybody on the outside saw what Ricardo did last year with the seven interceptions and how well he played, but. What are some of the things that maybe stand out about how he plays and what he can do versus other guys you've seen? I think he his biggest advantage is that he's patient and smart. Those are the two biggest things I'd say that he has over like some other DBs that you may see. I think he's really like he really like knows his personnel and he recognizes keys from like a maybe I'm on the outside and inside, he'll see something from the inside and then he knows what's coming from the outside. Maybe jump that and stuff like that. He's just real smart and real patient. And I think that's his biggest advantage. That's how he gets fixed. He's being patient and just he doesn't freak out if something happens.